Hi, I'm Moody. I'm feeling Moody. It's time for a moon message. Today's moon is the waning gibbous moon under the astrological sign of Scorpio. This reading is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node Cancer. Holy Spirit, Angel Guides, Spirit Guides, what's the March message for Cancer? Angel Guides, Spirit Guides, Holy Spirit, March message for Cancer. Okay, Cancer, let go of limiting thoughts. Stubborn and bullheaded. Eliminate self-sacrificing behavior. And protection comes in the form of rejection. Cancer. So, there could be something you're thinking about. There is something you're thinking about. You're having some difficulties letting it go. You're kind of stubborn and bullheaded when it comes to it. This could involve you doing something for others um, at the risk of not doing for yourself. Protection comes in the form of rejection. You know, maybe when you don't take care of yourself first, when you're kind of bullheaded about that thing, <laughs> that practice, um, something could fall through. Tell me what you're trying to say, spirit. There's a thought. There's something that you've been pretty stubborn about. You're kind of dug in. It could involve you doing something for others uh, before you do for yourself. It could involve you taking care of something for somebody else rather than addressing your own issues. So it's time to let go of limiting thoughts. Spirit ooh, wants you to focus on something bigger. Um, dream bigger. Dig deeper. Go wider. Your thoughts could be limiting you, containing you, not allowing you to move forward. It's causing you to be unawakened about something. This stubbornness is causing you to be unawakened about something. Sometimes when you have a choice to make of choosing you or choosing others, you choose others. Or you choose to address things for others and you'll take care of yourself later. Mm. Okay, tell me more. Spirit definitely wants you to focus on your dreams, your wishes, moving towards what you're destined to do. There's something that still needs to be done for you to move you forward towards your destiny, what you're fated to do. But you're too busy focusing on something else, on others. Yeah, that behavior is an unawakened, like you're not awakened to what priority you should give yourself and it's time for that to change. Let go. You've been stubborn about this. Yeah, you know, that can be um, almost like avoiding, avoiding something by focusing on something else. Something could be being avoided right now. It's creating a toxicity, a blockage. Okay. Hmm. Once you put yourself first, you choose you first, 
you're authentic to who you are. Mm, paying attention to your dreams and wishes and moving in that direction. Things begin to change. There's a shift. Clarity comes. Right. Challenges are lessened. Whatever the adversity was of the devil for you, Cancer. Yeah. By moving forward, by just keeping the focus on you, everybody else take a number. That's what I hear spirits saying. That kind of moves you out of this toxic... Um, you were tested, you know, divine timing means that a shift is occurring. Something is changing. That's why he's telling you whatever current state that's negative that you find yourself in, let it go. It's time to shift. It's time to move forward. It's time to, yes, have a new intention, set a new intention, right? You've been kind of stubborn about that, but it hasn't really worked out. And if we continue to not focus on ourselves, making better choices where we are concerned, being more of ourselves, being authentic, going after what you want as opposed to being content where you are. Yeah, this is a message about how, what lies ahead. You see something you didn't see before. Yes, after coming to hear this message. What is this spirit? What is it for cancer? The time is definitely now. An unawakened state goes to an awakened state when you discover something about yourself and you choose yourself, freely choose you first. There's something you're being told that no more self-sacrificing, that doesn't work. As a matter of fact, it's been blocking your initiatives, your manifestations from coming through. It's almost like avoidance. I feel like, you know, it's a form of avoiding. If I focus on this, because this is important for the kids. This is important for my husband. This is important for my mother, my sister, my whatever, my organization. Mm. Whatever it is that you dream of, that you really want, you're going to end up loving this. Everything before this was really a rejection to prepare you for what is up ahead. When you take the first step and appear as the king or queen of wands with determination to go after it until you achieve it, mm. taking your focus off of Whomever and whatever was limiting you in the form of the devil. Could have been a Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, Sag. <laughs> Could have been Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, like you, a water sign. But this does concern you. Leave me a comment and tell me how, which side of this fence are you on? Mm-hmm. You always should be on your side, though. It doesn't really matter. What matters out of this reading is self-authenticity. Making a choice, a free choice to choose you and not feeling guilty about it. You know, often we feel guilty when we choose ourselves, but spirit says eliminate self-sacrificing behaviors you know eliminate the need to put others before you yes okay and focus on your dreams never give up on your dreams whatever your dreams are you're gonna love them you're gonna feel so content and that's why this message urges you to let go eliminate and Get ready, because you've got three aces here. And you 
this is a time that if you let go, eliminate and protect yourself and move forward for your dreams, you're going to get them. You're going to get whatever it is that you want. Ace of Wands. It's like my dream of genie card. You just rub on the lantern and boom, what you want appears. Yeah. And look at what you're, you're letting go of. Confusion, insanity, the king of swords reversed. Somebody arrogant, difficult. This was your past. This was your past. They were not committed. They broke your heart. Come on. Why would you want to hold on to that? You definitely don't want to sacrifice yourself for someone like that. Some of you could be a little bullheaded about this. Ooh. But come on. You can't afford. You can't afford to be. No. To continue in that vein. Tell me, spirit, <clears throat> what kind of soulmate 1111? Yeah, when I said that, you you got to set your intentions much higher, dream bigger. Didn't I say that in the beginning? 1111 is your twin flame and unconditional love, a true love, right? Letting go of. Any sacrifices to try and make something in the past work. Mm -mm. Focus on the future. Big dreams. Love that is unconditional and successful. Yeah. Divine timing. Interventions. Delays. Detours. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because we do have free will. Right? And sometimes our free will causes delays and in intervention. Sometimes it is divine actually causing things not to work out, not to go forward so that you can focus on you and move towards what you're destined and fated to do. Yeah. Detours. So, so you may have felt that there were detours in this past relationship. And yes, delays, detours, because nothing was to come of it. Giving it enough time to fall apart. For you to see that you were sacrificing yourself for something that didn't work, wouldn't work. Now that you got that though, whew, you are focused and boom, it comes in. Right. You know, and, and not only does new opportunities come in, <clears throat> but you begin to see that the past op obstacles were really blessed opportunities of growth, you know. And yeah, you have the will, the perseverance. You're not stubborn anymore when it comes to moving on. And look, didn't I say the twin flames? Because you persevered, you do. You get a twin flame, unconditional love. Wow, true love. Mm. That's what you deserve, Cancer. Yeah. Let go. Eliminate, protect yourself until the one that you want comes in. This you definitely needed to surrender your heart. And divine, you know, he helped you with this. Maybe he opened up your eyes, showed you you were being a little stubborn here. There was nothing to hold on to. Nothing worth salvaging. Right? That's what I heard. Yeah. You know, the highest, listen to this, Cancer, the highest levels of love always serve and are without conditions. Didn't I say an unconditional love, a true love, a twin flame? That's what you're looking for. That's what you deserve. Mm. Tell me about this twin flame coming in, Spirit March. Do they need in March? How will Cancer know that that's their twin? What is this? Uh -huh. mm. 
Spirit of the Snowflake special because you'll find them special, irreplaceable, and one of a kind. A snowflake. I also see this as a star, maybe an Aquarius. But I just, you're going to be in awe of them. You're going to be in awe of them. Somebody who makes you feel like you always want to be around them. You cannot replace them. Feminine spirit. They're going to be intuitive, receptive, and nurturing. Mm. Something's going to happen in the fall, autumn, harvest. Maybe around Halloween, October. Hmm. That's going to make them special because they're intuitive and nurturing, very receptive to you, cancer, and something in important, something special is going to happen, October, okay, anything else, okay, okay, what else for cancer? Tell us about these big dreams, spirit. Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. A lot of blessings. Tell us about this, spirit. For Cancer March. Okay. Oof. Bathe in divinity. And you have a lot of cards talking about divine being with you here. He comes. His coming is as brilliant as the sunrise. And you also have have the faith to walk through new doors. Yeah. Because new is coming up for you, a love you've never experienced. It's unconditional. It's true love. But you've got to take the action. You've got to move in that direction on your own free will. For everything, there is a season, a time for every activity under heaven. Exclasius 3 1. Exclasitis. Wow. A lot of divine timing. And so for everything, there's a season and a time. This is the time. March starts a shift. Didn't I say that from the beginning? I feel things shifting and changing for you concerning love, preparing for an unconditional love, a true love. You may not have had that because you were too busy focusing on everybody else, everything else avoiding what it is that you really need and deserve, seeking that. And then all of a sudden you meet that special one. Maybe you've always known somebody who was special, special, irreplaceable, one of a kind. They're very intuitive and they're nurturing. They're receptive to your needs. You know, they can complete your sentences. They... They understand you. There's a feeling of, of being comfortable around them. Oof. That's how you're going to know. They're going to remind you of a snowflake. They're different. They're special. You know, you don't want them to melt. It's like you hold them in the palm of your hand and oh, just have faith to walk through new doors. Okay, spirit. I'm going to leave it there. I am. No, I'm going to give you a self-care card. Mm -hmm. Until this twin comes, what is it that you think cancer should do? 4-4 mm. four, four could be important. Something regarding sex. Maybe somebody has a question regarding sex. Hmm. 
until until this twin comes, I said, don't have sex. Ooh, okay. Don't have sex. Maybe you need to be celibate. Abstain from sex so that you can prepare for union. Right. Because spirit doesn't want any soul ties, anything hanging on your energy. Right. You have to be able to move freely as light as a snowflake. That's what he's saying, Cancer. Abstain from sex, right? All of this divinity, you know he's telling you to abstain from sex until your twin comes in. I'm going to leave it there. If you were able to identify with something that was said, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment and tell me why, because I want to know. All right, Cancer. I'm praying for you to meet your twin and for everything to be good from that point on. And until you meet them, I hope you're able to abstain and prepare and that you're ready when they come. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you so much for hanging out till the end. Until the next moon phase, namaste.